chapter 1144 reveals the deep-seated resentment Mrs. Newman holds towards her own daughter Cameron. Despite Cameron being her biological child, Mrs. Newman is unloving and neglectful. She ignores Cameron's pleas for affection, kicks her away when she's distressed, and even orders the nanny to keep Cameron away from her. Mrs. Newman despises Cameron to the point of firing the nanny, who had become a mother figure to Cameron. This hatred stems from Mrs. Newman's own unhappy marriage and unrequited love for her current husband. As a result, she cannot bring herself to love Cameron despite the child's resemblance to both her parents. Cameron's only source of love and care comes from the nanny who tries to shield her from Mrs. Newman's wrath. However, Mrs. Newman discovers their bond and fires the nanny, leaving Cameron alone and vulnerable. Cameron pleads with her mother, even kneeling in desperation, but Mrs. Newman remains unmoved by her daughter's pleas. Cameron can sense the wicked and hateful look in her mother's eyes, which sends a chilling sensation down her spine. Resigned to her mother's animosity, Cameron no longer expects love or affection from Mrs. Newman. Cameron's life becomes increasingly difficult without the nanny's care. She falls ill, and despite her deteriorating condition, Mrs. Newman refuses to send her to the hospital. It is only when Cameron's aunt returns and realizes the severity of her illness that she intervenes and takes Cameron to the hospital. Unfortunately, by that time, Cameron has already suffered the loss of her vision. As Cameron walks towards Serenity's bookstore, she clings tightly to her white cane relying on it for support. She reflects on her painful past and tries to suppress her anger and resentment. With her vision lost, she feels no different from a blind person, unsure of when or if she will ever regain her sight. Determined to move forward, Cameron takes a deep breath and prepares to navigate the distance to the bookstore unaware of the challenges that lie ahead.